This week on Zooborns Australia, a new group of Western Swamp Tortoise hatchlings. At the moment, the Western Swamp Tortoise is listed as critically endangered. Grow up at the zoo before returning to the wild. Over at the Australian Wetlands Exhibit, the Perth Zoo is undertaking one of their most important projects to date, maintaining the Western Swamp Tortoise Breeding Program. The breeding program here at Perth Zoo is very important. Uh, without it, it is quite likely that as a species, these guys probably would have gone extinct. This season, we've had 47 hatchlings, which is really good, with the ultimate goal of releasing them into the wild to help the species in its natural environment. The Western Swamp Tortoise is one of the most endangered reptile species in Australia. Thought to have been extinct for a century, the species was rediscovered in 1953. And with the help of the Perth Zoo, 800 of these unique tortoises have been born. Behind the scenes of the Australian Wetlands exhibit, the zoo's on-site breeding facility is home to the largest population of western swamp tortoises in the world. There, zookeepers are working from the moment eggs are laid to protect the species from extinction. So it looks like a female has laid a nest underneath this log, so I'm going to gently remove the log and carefully dig down and hopefully find some eggs. The stakes are extremely high for zookeepers as they dig out the eggs. You have to very carefully bring them out of the nest. If they drop or crack the shell in any way, the egg will no longer be viable and the population numbers will suffer. Having safely retrieved four eggs, zookeepers must weigh them individually before putting them into an incubator to develop. The pressure on zookeepers is enormous. The biggest risk is that you're trying to be too gentle and you drop an egg. For a species on the verge of extinction, one cracked shell can have devastating consequences. They will be in the incubators for anywhere between 130 and 180 days before they hatch out. Five months later, the western swamp tortoise eggs have hatched. Zookeepers must monitor the hatchling's weight to make sure they are developing enough to be released into the wild. He is due for his weekly weigh, where we will collect a weight so we can monitor his progress. In addition to weighing the hatchlings, zookeepers must also color code the young tortoise's shells. Now that we've got a weight on him and he is doing well, we can reapply his physical ID, which we just put some nail polish on certain parts of his shell which will allow us to be able to tell who he is. So it's really important for us to be able to monitor the genetics so that we don't end up with inbreeding in the population. One month later, zookeepers arrive at the Ellen Brook River Nature Reserve, where they plan to release some of their three-year-old western swamp tortoises back into the wild. Today we are actually taking 12 western swamp tortoises for their first wild swim. We are releasing them back out into their natural habitat where they will hopefully form productive members of the wild colony. The tortoise release is a collaboration between the Perth Zoo, Parks and Wildlife, the World Wildlife Fund and local community groups who are all working together to protect this endangered species. Love what you see with baby western swamp tortoises? Vote for your favorite zooborn of the season and we'll donate 3,000 US dollars towards conservation efforts for the winning species. The release was really important, both for the species and on a personal level. I mean, the whole team at Perth Zoo takes great delight in these days because it's the culmination of all of our efforts being able to release the animals we bred back out into the wild.
next week on Zooborns Australia. Perth Zoo welcomes a new litter of African painted dogs who are a handful for their first-time parents.